Imagine a superfood so dangerous being in your kitchen right now, wrecking your health without you even knowing that. There's one common superfood which I think the industry has been lying to us. And I want to uncover that. I want to talk about this very common superfood, the dangers. And I want to not just fear monger. I want to give you solutions. I want to give you nice alternatives to that superfood with similar benefits without all of these dangers. I want to talk about that. Let's get straight into it. What is hiding behind that very innocent superfood? It's called oxalates. Oxalic acid is a natural substance in many, many plants. And I'm not telling you not to eat plants. Actually, in small amounts, it's harmless. You just pee it out. Your kidneys can handle it. It's fine, right? It is fine. But in high doses, these oxalates can turn dangerous. They can bind to minerals like calcium, forming tiny crystals, completely potentially wrecking your body, right? And this one superfood is so high, so high in these oxalates. Those crystals can accumulate in your body and form kidney stones. One of the most excruciating experiences you can imagine. Even worse, too much oxalates can poison your kidneys. Actually, in one very extreme case, a 68-year-old man, he went on a daily juice diet with that green vegetable and you, you might think, okay, that's a great thing. That sounds so healthy. Well, he just had one of these juices every day. But because this one superfood is so rich in oxalates, he accumulated every day 1,500 milligrams of oxalates. And then he developed oxalate crystals that ravaged his kidneys. Within a few months, he needed dialysis. A completely healthy man. Now you may be thinking, okay, okay, okay. But I'm not drinking these juices, right? No problem. Well, even a moderate intake can be risky. In a 2022 randomized controlled trial on a low oxalate diet, it slashed the urinary oxalate levels by up to 40%, meaning that far fewer crystals to form these stones. So cutting down has a very, very clear payoff. Which vegetable are we talking about here? This particular leafy green has 1,000 milligram of oxalates per 100 gram serving. 100 gram serving is easily consumed, just has like 30 calories or so, right? It's off the charts. In fact, kale as an alternative has 50 times less. Carrot has 20 times left, just 50 milligrams. And carrots are amazing, right? So most fruits and meats have virtually nothing at all. So there are plenty of alternatives, of course. This one vegetable, this one superfood is a leak of its own. It's a heavyweight in oxalates. So it's time to reveal it, of course. This dangerous vegetable is spinach. Maybe you're surprised, right? Don't get me wrong. Spinach is nice in many other regards. It's nutritious. It has a lot of iron. It's quite high in some nutrients compared to the calories you are consuming. So that is great. But it's so sky high in oxalates that it's actually a real concern. So if you're prone to kidney stones, if you're consuming that more often, this is definitely something to consider, ladies and gentlemen. Man. This is a habit to rethink and to think about maybe I should go for other alternatives. If I want leafy greens, I take kale. If I want other vegetables, I do something like zucchini or carrots, right? Just something to think about. Let me know what you think about that. And of course, do not miss out on this video here about olive oil, which is very important to watch and subscribe to the channel right now. And as always, guys, as always, bye, bye.